our first objective, rounding numbers. So you got to find out what digit you're, you're rounding to, okay? So they, they may say something like, you're going to round to the nearest hundred or the nearest thousand. You know, may, maybe something bigger like millions or ten millions or something like that. Uh, and they'll let us know, of course. But you, you have to identify what digit you're looking at in that specific place value. Now, when they say we're rounding to those place values, what we're looking for is a place value that's closest uh, or, or the number that's closest to that place value, right? So in, in other words, if you, like, let's let's go with 10. That's a pretty, uh, well, you know, I'm actually going to change that. Let's make that 20. Let's look at 20. If, we, if I was looking at rounding to 20 or just estimating to 20, and we may look at a number like 17 here, okay? Now, 17 is below 20, which is fine, but I'd say 17, uh, would, is that number closer to 20 or is it closer to 10? And of course, it, of course, it's seven away from 10 and three away from 20. So we'd say, yeah, it's closer to 20. So we would round 17 to 20 if we were rounding it to the nearest tens place value. Now, on the other hand, you'd say you, you may look at a number like 13, right? So 13, well, 13, is that, uh, how would we round 13 to the nearest tens? Well, it's too far away from 20. It's actually closer in the tens place value to the number 10. So we'd say, yeah, we would, we're going to round this thing to 10. Uh, I know it's a little bit more than 10, and that's fine. It, again, that happens from time to time when you're rounding, uh, which, of course, is, I don't know, it's the inherent fault in rounding numbers. Um, but, yeah, again, there, there are some uses in it. Now, you'll see over here, uh, look at the value to the right of the digit. So once you find the place value that you're rounding to, just look to the right of that number. And, of course, this is the rule, and it does apply pretty much the same way that I, I explained it down here, is, you know, what, what number is it closer to? Is it closer to the one before it or the one uh, right above it, right? So it's a, if it's if that number to the right of the digit is five or more, then you're going to add one to the place value that the target place value, that's what I'm going to call it, the targeted place value. You add one to it. If it's less than five, uh, then it's, it's called rounding down, but really what it means is you're keeping the digit the same. So, for example, in this one we have it below, like 13. So 13, um, 13, again, if we said round that to the nearest tens place value, well, one is the tens place value. We look to the right of the one, which is the three, Three is less than five, so we keep the one the same. But notice here all at the end, uh, this third part, change all the values to the right of the digit to zero. So uh, the digit that we were targeting was the tens place value. Every, anything to the right then becomes a zero, like in this example, the what was the three in the ones place value becomes a zero. And now we've rounded to the nearest 10 in this case. And I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because um, this should probably should probably be mentioned in the rules here is uh, all the values to the right of the digit remain uh, or become zeros. But anything to the left of that digit, unless you've added one to it so that you have to carry. And we're going to talk about more about carrying today, but uh, carrying today. Uh, but all the other values should pretty much stay the same unless they're affected by the addition of one. So in this example right here, let's let's go back to the 17 part of that, right? So if I said, hey, we're going to round 17 to the nearest 10. So I, I identify the number or the digit in the tens place value, which, of course, is the one here. And then we notice the 7. The 7 is 5 or more right there. So since the 7 is 5 or more, I'm going to add 1 to the targeted place value, which is the tens in this case. So I would add 1 there. 1 plus 1 is 2. And then, of course, anything to the right of it just becomes a 0. Yeah, yeah, and that's how we get that 20 right there. All right, so in these examples, this first one, it's round 762 to the nearest 10, right? That 762, I'll zoom in on this. So we're rounding this to the nearest 10, and the first thing I'm going to do is identify the digit in the 10's place value. So I say, okay, the 2 is in the 1's, the 6 is in the 10's place value, okay? So I'm... I'm Focusing specifically on the six, and then 
I, I look to the right of that place value, which to the right of the tens place value is the ones place value, the two there, okay? Now, to the right of that tens place value, the ones place value, if it's five or more, I would add one to the six and make all the other values zero. This two, it's less than five, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna keep the six as a six in the, in the tens place value. And then, like I said before, everything to the right of it then becomes a zero, including the two. And then it's not affecting anything to its left. So the seven remains a seven here. And we end up with 760 would be 762 rounded to the nearest 10. Or, or in other words, 760 is the closest tens place value to 762. All right, the second example round, that's 13,612 to the nearest 100, right? So let's zoom in on this one too. So once again, I, I, I need to identify the number in the hundreds place value, and that is the six. Okay, once again, the two is in the ones place value. The one is in the tens place value, so the six is in the hundreds place value. So that's our target um, place value that we're rounding to. And I look immediately to the right of that place value, which is the one, okay? Now that one, once again, just like that previous example, it is less than five. So I'm going to uh, keep the six as a six. And then any values to its right become zeros, and there was uh, two place values to its right. All the place values to its left are going to stay the same. So 13,612 rounds, if we're rounding to the nearest 100, to 13,600. Or again, 13,600 is closer to 13,612 than any other hundreds place value here. All right, let's round this next one as well. 54,128 to the nearest thousand. Now, I, I actually, I almost feel compelled to change that one in the hundreds position to a different number. So I changed this number on purpose uh, because looking at these other examples, which I didn't expect to happen, um, we need the different examples of the rounding, right? So this is 54,728 instead of the 54,128. We're, we're, we are rounding the nearest thousand here. So once again, we need to identify the target place value for us, which is the thousands. And that's where the four is. So again, the eight is in the ones place value, two in the tens, seven in the hundreds. So four is in the thousand, thousands place value. So there's, there's our target place value. So once again, I look to the right and I find the seven right there, right? Okay. Well, seven is bigger than five. It's five or bigger. So what that means is in the target place value, which is the thousands, I need to add one to it. So I would take that four. I would add one. Four plus one is five. Now everything to the right of that place value becomes a zero. So there were three place values. One, two, three there. So I need three zeros to the right of five. And of course, that reads as 5,000 now, but the place values to the left stay the same. So where there was a five in the 10,000s place value, it's just gonna drop as a five still in the 10,000s place value. So 54,728 rounds to 55,000 when rounding to the nearest thousand. So in this next example, once again, it's gonna work the same way. We're gonna round this to the nearest 100,000. So let's identify that uh, place value here. So ones, tens, hundreds, uh, uh, thousands, ten thousands. But yeah, we want the hundred thousands in this case. That's the five. So I look immediately to its left, the place value to the left of that five, which is, is a zero. So that zero, is less than five, which means the five in our target place value will stay 
5. And then all the other values, all the other digits in the place values to the right become zeros, and we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 place values there, so I need 5 zeros. I know those didn't line up exactly, but I hope that's okay. So that ends up being 500,000. I, I put the comma in on that one just because there were a lot of zeros. Uh, I believe on the homework you do not have to put commas, but I also believe it accepts the commas as well. All right, so we have those first four examples there, right? So what I'd like to, what I'd like to do now is I just want to give you a chance to try that last one. What is that? 8,191,832. Try this one out. And then in about 30 seconds, I'll go over it, and then you can check your answer against what we have, okay? But take 30 seconds and try this one out. So let's go ahead and do this problem. If you're still working on it, um, just finish up, and then again, just check, check what you get with what we end up with on this, okay? So this one round wants this rounded to the nearest million, okay? Well, where is the millions place value? So we got ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So yeah, we are looking at the eight in the millions place value. So since that's our target place value, I would look immediately to its right, and I got a one. So that's, uh, that's in the hundred thousands place value to its right. And one is less than five, which means that uh, the eight is going to stay an eight. And once again, we have all the place values to its right uh, are going to become zeros. And how many do we got? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need six place values to the right of eight, and I need to fill all of those in with zeros. Bam, okay. So yeah. 8,191,832 does round uh, to 8 million. That is the closest million to that value we start with. And again, if you, if you want to put commas in, uh, you should be okay to do that. 